Hello, my name is Sunil Dand and thank you for watching Frontline Doctor Scripts. In this video, we're going to be talking about healthcare information technology and how it has proliferated at the front lines of medicine over the last decade with, unfortunately, some very negative unintended consequences. The recent history of healthcare information technology can be traced back to 2004, when the then President George W. Bush announced in his State of the Union address that he was setting up an Office of the National Coordinator for Health Information Technology. The initial budget for this was $42 million. Very little then happened over the next few years until the American economy collapsed in 2008, causing a global recession. As part of the federal stimulus package, President Obama in 2009 signed the High Tech Act. This was part of the American Recovery and Reinvestment Act, and High Tech stood for Health Information Technology for Economic and Clinical Health. The budget for this was a huge $30 billion of the $700 billion stimulus package. Hospitals, clinics, and individual physicians across the country would only get a slice of this federal money if they adhered to strict criteria for the implementation of information technology. This became known as meaningful use. Meaningful use was to occur in three stages. Stage one, which was implemented in 2011, was all about capturing and gathering data. Stage two, was about more advanced clinical processes, and stage three is all about improving outcomes, as well as incentives for hospitals and physicians to become fully computerized were penalties if meaningful use did not occur. Now, there may have been some very noble intentions behind meaningful use. However, the problem is that these systems were rolled out before they were ready for prime time, causing something of a catastrophe at the front lines of medicine. Recent studies suggest that new physicians are spending as little as 10% of their day in direct patient care. That is an alarming statistic, and it doesn't just apply to doctors either. Look down any modern day hospital floor and you will see nurses who are the very heart of direct patient care glued to their computer carts furiously typing and clicking away instead of spending time with their patients. If you were to ask any physician or nurse at the moment what one of their biggest daily frustrations is, undoubtedly healthcare IT will be at or near the top of the list. Not only is it a problem for doctors and nurses, but also for patients too. One of the current biggest complaints of patients is that their doctor hardly even looks at them in the eye anymore during the consultation and is instead preoccupied with the computer screen. A typical scenario is this. A physician will spend five minutes with the patient and then 25 to 30 minutes documenting what happened on a computer. Physicians can't be turned into what we call type and click bot doctors. So what are some solutions to this current mess we face with healthcare IT? The answer is not to go back to the bad old days of mountains of paper charts and illegible handwriting. We simply need better, more efficient, seamless and user-friendly technology at the front lines of healthcare. We need user-friendly interfaces. We need to reduce the number of clicks in order to perform any given task. We need to have intuitive design. We need to have mobile technology as well. We need to utilize smartphones, tablets, and have rapid order entry instead of the cumbersome alternatives that exist at the moment. The best healthcare IT of the future will be seen and not heard. It will be designed to take doctors and nurses back to where they belong with their patients. Every patient has a story to tell and we cannot reduce our patients to a series of meaningless tick boxes and random data that now exists in the world of healthcare IT. Remember that healthcare is and always will be about people and human beings. It is a uniquely emotional arena where empathy, compassion, and a friendly, caring, and listening ear go a long way. 
Healthcare IT may be a great tool for the future, but will never be at the core of good clinical medicine.